Can the Parker instability explain the long misunderstood episodic and periodic nature of climate on Earth? Can it explain the phenomenon of micronova and mass extinction and magnetic excursion all at the same time based on the electric universe model? Well, this is a lot to digest. But if we look at some of the ice core data, which shows a very distinct 100,000 year extreme cycle where temperatures on Earth change tens of degrees centigrade instantaneously, is this caused by a solar outburst? What is the trigger of these events? And, and we know about known magnetic excursions that are happening periodically, episodically, apparently every 12,000 or so years. If we look at the ice core data, is this the magnetic excursion data causing these blips? They don't seem that exact from this data set. But is it electric? What is the trigger? Because let's go back. The major events are every 100,000 years, and we just had one. So we don't have to worry about that event happening again. We have to worry about one of these minor major events. Now we know we're living one right now. And it's a magnetic excursion. We're on the 12,000 year flexure point. The last catastrophe that ended modern civilization was 12,900 years ago, the Younger Dryas event. And we're now living the next event. Don't ask, <laughs> don't ask me. Look at the data. We're living it. And during these events, the magnetosphere wanes and cosmic rays increase. And we're now living the global warming magnetic excursion, so to speak. Now, what type of data do we know? The heliospheric current sheet is a very good Um, synonym for what we're talking about. We know that the helios heliospheric current sheet every two weeks or so changes the magnetic field here at Earth. And, and we know this through the phi angle shift. So here we're now Earth to Sun. And soon this blue line will shift down here to the lower degrees, sun to earth, as we go through that sheet, so to speak. Now, a paper coming out just a few days ago, the role of the Parker instability in structuring the interstellar medium. This is a much bigger sheet we're talking about. We're talking about an interstellar sheet coming from the galactic core. Here you see Sagittarius's arm, the plasmoids in the center of the Milky Way, where we are over here. Now, what if, and now there are plenty of papers out on the galactic origin for the 62 million year extinction cycle. And it's the fact that the sun here moves through these spiral arms and, and the cosmic rays affect life on Earth and bad things happen and comets hit. So each of these arms that we hit causes a 62 million year extinction cycle. And there are a lot of papers about the galactic cycle of extinction. And you'll get links to all of these. The sun's galactic journey linked to mass extinctions is not new. Mass extinction and the structure of the Milky Way has been long studied. But we're talking about explaining the smaller scale cycles. In an electric universe with a plasmoid at the center. Creating an oscillation or a sinusoidal wave pattern. And that pattern 
is obvious. We can see it. It's almost like an EKG, like of a human heart patient. Beep. 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 Global warming. We're living one of these events today. And we're learning as we're going. And it's amazing as it unfolds. It's anyone's guess what will happen, but nothing will be the same. That's for sure. These cycles have been happening nonstop, like clockwork. We've been struggling as, as scientists to explain the mechanism. What is the mechanism? Is it a solar outburst? I, I say yay, that solar outbursts occur during these major flexure points, but we're not at a major flexure point. The last one just happened 12,900 years ago. And so what does the future bring? Cosmic rays are increasing, the poles are shifting, and the shift is about to hit the fan. We've warned about pandemic, and it's occurring. And we're on the flexure point for an ice age to begin. So that's the next step. Be safe. <laughs>